Hey everyone, Benjamin here and oh yeah. So let me just say this. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be teaching you how to create a very interesting flyer. And you know when it comes to flyers, ah, I always have something interesting for you. So what I'm going to actually teach you is something simple you can use for any webinar or any online event at all you may have. You can use this flyer in particular to promote it, especially having images of your guests and all of that on it. So I'm going to be teaching you. It's very easy and very simple. Don't go anywhere. I should be right back after the intro. So hello everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, you know what to do. Smash on the subscribe button for me, just because you love, you know, this channel. And if you're an OG, massive respect to you. I really appreciate your continued support. So I think it's now time for us to really get started into whatever I have for you today. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. All right. So this is what we have at the moment. You can see it's very, very easy. I will just come to add a new page and I'm using the dimension 1080 by 30. 1350 okay and the background color is not white so i'll just come to color click on plus color and the background color is e7 e6 um f1 yeah so that's the background color now let's really get started into it so what do we see we see some circles so i'll just come down here press c on my keyboard for circle and i'll increase the size okay so something like this should be cool all right and also there's one thing i'd love to know about um this you know i just decided to change the position of my camera so just let me know if you prefer this or if you prefer the normal way which always used to be at the top over here this time around i just wanted you to feel me and i wanted to feel you also so just let me know in the comment section if you prefer this okay yeah anyway so we have our circle over here and we just drop it a little bit and we'll just come into color and change the color okay nice one then what we'll do is to duplicate the circle so i'll come here and i'll duplicate the circle you know still position where it is and i'll change the color to um, yellow i was about to say i'll change the color to circle <laughs> right click on to layer and you know send it to the back okay it's still selected so what you need to do is click on the side over here okay and press and hold alt then drag it a little bit huh so this is what we have been able to create you see it's beautiful very easy make sure you did what i did you select the side of the circle okay then you press and hold alt and drag then when you are finished when, what am i even saying when you are done dragging make sure you leave the cursor make sure you leave it before you leave the alt if you leave the alt first everything would look messy everything will look messy not messy everything will look messy okay so you rather need to leave the click rather than the whatever okay yeah so we have this over here now let's go into my photos so photos okay and um, you just need to search for any sweet photo of your choice i have you know the photos i use and i'm just going to be using them so you can also search for any photo at all you want maybe anyone in suit or things like that so i just want to choose three people but you can choose as many people as possible as long as you know how to arrange them okay just be creative like we always say there's no limit to creativity so just be creative about it all right all right so you can see we have these ones over here the first now just do is to select all of them come to edit photo in edit photo i'll just choose bg remover and now it's super quick so you know we can just do this in some few seconds and this leads me to say this that if you are still using the free version of canva i just don't know why you're still using the free version of canva i have a link in the description box below that should help you to use canva pro for free so please click on the link and start using canva pro for free i don't know what else you want me to do before you start using canva pro why you can do this quickly inside of canva pro removing the background instead of now going to remove the bg removing background we are bloating blah, 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 blah. even aside that um the thing is with canva pro you can upload custom fonts you can also remove the background of the videos now you can um you also have more animation features you can have you now have multiple brand kits there are just so many things you can actually do in canva pro now so i want you to be able to do that so that you don't spend so much time when you're actually making designs for clients and all that look please use the link okay just use the link right so back into the design we will just you know trim this and i'll trim it like this you see what i'm doing then i would 
maybe if there's a main man okay i was about to say the main guy so we'll just make him bigger all right and what we can do is we can maybe drop this one down a little bit position this one also here and make sure you're sending it to the back right then we can put this guy over here i want all of it to be you know up to their waist level or up to their arm because they are all folding their arms okay and i'll increase him so that the height at least will be similar to what we have over here then i would come to position no come to flip rather and flip horizontal okay and i'll also send this to the back to so something like this is very cool and also send this to the back and drop it here and you see what we have at the moment very very beautiful beautiful okay so i'll increase the sizes a little bit and i'll bring him in a little bit okay and i think this is more to the side i was trying to center him sometimes you know one thing i've realized sometimes don't fully depend on the guides in kind of something you have to use your eyes okay because depending on how the actual image has been positioned you know can't all just say okay this is the center it's just dividing the whole thing but you also need to use your eyes to make sure things are looking centered okay so after we do that what we are going to do is we select this image come to edit photo in edit photo you know just make sure you're in the filter section and choose any of the filters i love the fresco okay i don't know why but it just gives it a boost okay we could actually do a manual adjustment but i think this is saving us time so we wouldn't do that today maybe next time all right so before we touch on the background you want to add our text okay so i'll first of all show you how to do the text and the shapes but the other things we'll just copy and paste from the initial ones okay yeah because i know you know how to do it so i put this here increase the size and i don't even know the font i was using i think i'm using here balo condensed okay so i select it and the title is training session so i'll just say the same thing over here so training session okay then i made it bold so select or and make it bold okay you can also use ctrl b to make it bold and yeah you can see we have something sweet over here then i just added my other text which is poppins okay so poppins and i pasted it over here and i'll just drop it down a little bit one thing you should notice is that we are applying the hierarchy principle of design over here so the first thing we want people to focus on is the training session then the ultimate business sale training then we come to this okay so make sure you're arranging your text according to how you want people to read it that's one thing you need to keep in mind okay then you can see the second thing we did was to add the shape let me show you how i added it first of all press t -E. no not t press r on your keyboard okay for a rectangle you can see what i'm doing then you position it where you want it to be and you increase you know the width of it if i'm correct yeah then come to the border style make sure you are choosing the line border okay then make sure with the corner round then you are increasing it to somewhere like 65 all right then come to the color the field color and choose none for it then come to the border color and choose white for it okay then we have something like this then the next thing i just did was to press l on my keyboard for line position it here okay come to position and you should see with it we just do 90 degrees okay and yeah that is with it we will reduce the size and position it you know you are just now going to divide your pale shape yeah this is a pale shape just going to divide it equally okay and at this point you need to use your eyes so maybe i'll position this somewhere here all right then i'll just add my text to monday time and date okay so position it in here perfecto then what we did is let me i think i would want to move this to the top a little bit okay so i move it to the top a little bit then you know we have all these extra things so i'll just copy this because i think for now there's something you can actually do you know it's just you implementing the same procedure what we did for this so you add the shape make sure you increase the rounding add a border style change the border style color with the fill color make sure you are just setting it to no color okay you add you for more information and all other stuff then yeah this is what we have at the moment but we are not done yet we have to make our background look interesting so i came into photos and i just came to search for abstract okay abstract and we have so many abstractive images over here so you can choose any of them um the one i used initially was this first one but you can see we have so many options so i can maybe choose this one position it here okay and 
pull it over here and just drag it down all right right click come to layer you can just do show layers if you want to be fancy okay and you can see this is it so we we'll just drag it all the way to the bottom all right then we can reduce the transparency of it a little bit so it doesn't look you know, too obvious all right then i added my logo so this is one of the custom logos i actually created in canva so that i can use for tutorials and stuff like that so i just position it here and yes that should be it so this is how hey wait we have we are not done there's one more thing we need to do one more thing we need to do yay hey, hey, i need to do so i have this um element in my canva okay this element in particular you can find it on the element of the african gigs.com okay so i have it there and i just positioned it here and that is it so yes this is when i can now see this is what we have been able to do in canva and i hope you found this helpful don't forget you can use canva pro for free by using the link in the description box below and you can also use my canva template for free the link is also in the description box below the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity don't forget to subscribe like support this video as i'm coming wholeheartedly to provide you with you know videos like this share this video with your friends any ps any person you know who uses canva and yes don't forget like i said there's no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video i know you could do it all you gotta do is put your mind to it wake up i'm on to the next new day i gotta do my best uh, every day i put the work in the grind never stop you ain't never see me rest see me on top i never